Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and I've got an art journal process video for you today. So this is in my junk journal and I'm just using some bits and bobs that were pretty and lying around on my desk or near my desk. Now look at this. See those beautiful scalloped edges? Yep, they weren't meant to be there. That was a beautiful large picture of some flowers and then the bunnies discovered it and they pulled it down from where it was <laughs> on my shelf and they decided to give it a bit of a distressed edge. Cheeky bunnies. So I did decide to rip it because the it was so, it looked so much like bite marks because that's what they were. And I just wanted something that was a bit smoother, I guess you could say. So I'm using an old dictionary page here and I haven't primed the pages. Um, I am just sticking some gel medium straight onto the paper. So I think this is like a page of maybe white card and a shiny brochure. That's what I'm working with today. So if you like junk journals and you want to learn more about them, I am, I've planned it. I'm in the process of um, filming a junk journal online class. So stay tuned for that. And I'm also going to have junk journal kits available to buy um, with some goodies and papers and all sorts of scrumptious paper goods. Uh, but we're currently, if you don't follow me on my main channel, Inky Quill, you may not know, but we are in the process of moving house right now. So I'm getting ahead and pre-filming some videos because we will be without internet for probably or a good month at least if not more and that's a bit of trouble when you do YouTubes so I'm trying to get ahead with a few videos for you um, we're moving close by not too far away about half an hour away um, so we can be closer to some family and also just in a better safer area the area that we live in right now isn't isn't the best uh, and because we have our little five month old bub we kind of want to go somewhere that's a little bit safer so i'm just using some washi tape here this washi tape could possibly have been from a very old planner society kit i'm thinking this one definitely was the second one that I just used. Uh, I'm then using a Tim Holtz stencil as well as a little blending sponge, which is meant to be for makeup, but I'm using it for paint. And I've got my used up journal handy because like I've said before, if you're going to get painty once, get painty twice and make yourself an extra background for next time because it just makes it so much easier. So I'm actually using the, um, that page as a palette instead of actually putting it somewhere and I'm sorry about the camera shaking but I was very violently <laughs> sponging through this stencil um, this page actually in my use it up journal is going to be your art journal process video in two weeks time so stay tuned for that one this blue one on the side so I'm just adding a little bit of stenciling here a little bit of stenciling I'll pop it sorry I have a bunny rabbit that is trying I'm wearing bunny slippers and she's trying to attack the bunny slippers they're not real bunnies it's okay you're still the superior rabbit in this house um, I have if you're new to my channel I have two pet bunnies that are house bunnies and Poppet is the boss <laughs> she runs the house so now I just dry that with a heat gun I think and I'm doing some bubble wrap now bubble wrap is a brilliant um, it's not a stencil it's kind of just a squishing device let's call it that and it gives a beautiful pattern so if you're someone who wants to step into mixed media but you think you don't have the supplies you can use stuff just from around your house so um, if you're nervous to try mixed media grab some older paint grab some kids paint that you might have lying around or grab a, a tube for two dollars at your local cheap shop grab some bubble wrap and see what you can do it's it's fun to watch the one thing i will say with bubble wrap is experiment with how much paint you put on if you put on not much paint you get a completely different look as to um, when you load it with lots and lots of paint this little new project card is one from my Patreon um, from July. So I'm just using that because it's lying in my stash. I wasn't about a new project, but I wanted the, the grid pattern on it. I'm adding some tape now. I just use double-sided adhesive tape from Spotlight. It's the cheapest one I can buy. Um, I think I get a three pack for nine or $10. And when I'm doing 
mixed media, I prefer to use this tape rather than my ATG just because I feel like it sticks a bit better and it's a bit thicker. And I always use a lot of adhesive anyway, but I always extra use a lot of adhesive in art journal um, videos because they're not, these layouts aren't behind a process, uh, aren't behind a process video, aren't behind a page protector to protect them if they fall off. It's early peeps. It's about 6 a.m. And I'm filming this voiceover because Archie and Aaron are still asleep and it's the easiest time to get some vocal recording done because as you can imagine a five month old is very vocal and when mummy starts talking then it's time to talk and talk and cry and do all the things i'm adding some tiny words you can see these ones are tim holtz uh, i think they're the small talk ones and i'm just adding a bit of extra glue because this pack was near the sun in my craft room and they're just not as sticky as they used to be so a little bit of ex extra glue never hurt anyone so i'm adding a few bits here a few bits there and there's still we still do a bit to this page now i'm going through i've got a collection of stickers that i want to try and use up so i'm adding these ones there reset girl uh, little map stickers I'm also cutting off my edge pieces if you're nervous to do art journal pages junk journals are a great way to go because there's no blank page well that one was a blank page but there's rarely an actual blank page you've always got a background there you've got something to work off and it just makes <laughs> am i clapping myself oh my god Adele. um there's no um there's not an entire book of blankness because that is confronting so now i'm using just a simple lid from my an old spray bottle and the black dilutions paint and i'm just doing some little circles i did this also on um if you're one of my patrons i also did this um to make that mixed media background that we did a couple of weeks ago i've got a white uni chalk pen which i use because i do um, custom wedding chalkboards chalkboards and i always go through these white chalk textures but I get to the end and they get fuzzy at the tip so they don't write nice and crisply anymore and so I put them in my craft stash and use them just as splattering. Now this white paint pen, it's not actually a paint pen, it's just white out correction fluid uh, in a pen form in, just to white out your mistakes in pen uh, and I'm actually using it to do a scripty font title because I freaking hate white paint pens that aren't opaque I hate it absolutely hate it and with whiteout you don't have to worry about that because its sole purpose is to be so opaque that you can't see the mistake on the other side so if you're looking for something to experiment if you're frustrated like me and want a different white paint pen try a whiteout correction fluid pen because um, I will admit they are tricky to use um, but if you're looking to do like little dots or stripes or something to start off with to make it easy then go for it now I'm having a look and there's something missing there's something missing from the title so I decide to outline it do I do that now let's see yes I do so I'm just grabbing my sharpie pen and uh, basically not ruining it but forcing it to do something when it's not meant to I think the paint may still be a little bit wet and the whiteout may still be a little bit wet but that's never stopped me before but don't learn from me please wait until all of your paint is dry before you put a paint pen or a pen near it because it will kill your pens it really will um, so I think I just keep cleaning the tip a little bit that's why I keep going off camera so I needed that little outline just to give it a pop because it is a busy page but I love the way it looks um, I chose those pinky colors with the photo in mind I knew that I had some photos that had pinky tones in them there are a few different ones um, but now I'm all done so this is my little junk journal page I love using my junk journal as kind of like a messy arty scrapbook but not a chronological one. So I just basically use extra photos and, and just pop them in here. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. And if you'd like to see more junk journal, art journal process videos, let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I really do appreciate all those thumbs ups and comments. I read them all and I will see you all very soon. Bye.